Welcome everyone to episode 29 of the Dusty Survival Series. I'll wrap the last few bales for silage before the snow comes in. We attempt to sell some straw and Dusty brings the sheep back home. Well hello there regular Dusty fans and newcomers alike. We are on episode 29 of our Dusty Survival series and I am currently stood where our sheep pastures used to be until we had our landslide which destroyed the one that was pretty much in front of me here. We've cleared that all away and that was pretty much the work for the last couple of months and we've also managed to dismantle the larger or should I say mid-size uh, sheep pasture that was here and that is now nicely built up in front of Dusty's cabin so let's go up there and take a look now Whilst I'm on the way up here, just want to make a point of something. We didn't manage to get around to doing any of the concrete work. It was just too much to try and achieve in one month. So the end of this month, we will get all of this reinforced, all of this rock face here, and we'll get the whole of this ground area concreted. And then when we've got enough money, after our big sell in January, then I think we'll be in the market for a nice big barn, some form of warehousing perhaps, somewhere to store all of our goods and produce over the year. For now, just looking up at the clock, it's 9.07 in the morning. We've got 21,000 in the bank. We had about 41,000, I think, at the end of last month. We used about 20 grand doing all of the work up here, uh, moving stuff around, rebuilding things. But as you can see, we are here. So we have got all of our sheep bar, the ones that ran off, which we will collect later in these two pastures. This was the simple fenced off one that we had. Very easy just to take apart. The troughs just lift out this no problem at all. So that was easy to rectify and re erect here. And this one, yeah, we had a bit of a concrete base. So it's just a case of reforming that concrete base, putting the walls back up. It's not a huge amount of work in all fairness. We've got a, uh, an electric feed running underneath the ground straight across the Dusty's cabin and that's powered by the small generator that's up there. And that's been up there for months if not years. That's just been adding a small amount of power for our homestead. So yeah, everything's looking great. Finally, after that disaster, we are back. You'll notice I've still got my torch on because the sun is only just peeking across the top of the mountains there. So I think what we're going to do now is we will have a quick look at where we are in terms of selling our produce, but also what we might have on for today. Quick jump in the weather. We do have snow coming and that's important because at the end of last month, Dusty and I managed to get one last mow of our main meadow. So we have a whole load of bales that I need to wrap and then that will be a big haul for silage in January. And there you go, you can see, as usual, the uh, bales have rolled themselves to the bottom of the hill, which quite frankly makes my life a bit easier when it comes to wrapping. But yeah, so that's a job that I will be getting on with shortly. Let's just have a quick look at crops and the state of selling. So we haven't got any uh, arable crops at the minute in storage. Everything's gone down to the mill to be turned into flour. So let's have a quick jump down to the first one. So eggs, we sold last month, that's fine. We brought in a little bit of income there. That's pretty much what helped us pay for the uh, the landscaping work and manoeuvring all of the uh, the uh, sheep pastures up onto the top of the hill there. Wool, we're not gonna sell as it is because obviously we are using that to make fabric. Wood chips we do have, but again, that's looking like January for selling, not December. Silage, we have 11,323 litres. That needs to go next month and I think that is where all of our big annual income is going to be coming from again this year. Wood we're sending directly into the carpenters so that's not really something we need to look at right now and again that's May anyway. Now we do have some straw so we could go and get rid of those few bales. Uh, December, yeah that seems like a good time to sell. So straw is an option for this month definitely. Flour really is starting to stack up down at the mill. Again, we just want to wait one more month, really get the most we can bang for buck in January. If we do manage to set ourselves up with a bakery, then bread would have been a good thing to sell in December. We're not there yet, but who knows where we might be in two or three months time. 
Now our fabric again is a selling point of April, but we're not using that to sell directly. We are turning it into close and close is April as well. So we don't need to worry too much about that. Honey is February, so we can hold on to that for a while. And looking at our greenhouse produce, lettuce, February, tomatoes we don't bother with and strawberries we don't bother with. Now planks is an option because we seem to be creating an awful lot of surplus planks, but we don't want to sell those until June, July and the same applies for furniture. So we'll hold on to all of that stuff we've been making down at the carpenters. And that leaves just the stones and lime. Now we don't have any stones left because we put it all into the crusher. Lime will sell. Yeah, you know what? December's not a bad time to sell lime. It's sticking high and it's sitting around the same point. So I think this month we'll get rid of the straw and we'll get rid of the lime. Other than that, I think it would be a good time of the year to just go around, check on our production chains. I don't feel like we've done it for a couple of months. Just see how everyone's doing down in the city centre. We've got four pallets of lettuce there. There should be the same this side there is. So these can be tidied away, ready for hauling in February, I think it was. And we'll go and have a look at the other production chains later. For now, I know the snow's coming in in approximately an hour and a half, if the uh, weather is accurate. So I'm going to jump in the Landini. I'm going to pick up the wrapper and start wrapping all those extra bales. OK, I'm down at the main meadow here. Where is the wrapper? I think it's behind me. I oh, know it's there. I'm looking right at it. So let me hitch that up. I might give Dusty a shout because he could try and go down and see Steve down at the animal dealer and go and pick up our old sheep guys. Oh, I've kind of missed them in a way. Let's unfold. There we go. Right, what are we going for first? Where's the nearest one? Ah, there she blows. Right, let's get up there. Start wrapping all these, get them down, piled up by the silo. Or oh, next month, we are going to make an absolute packet. Good morning. How y'all doing? Computer guy wants me to head down to the animal dealer and go pick up our sheep. You want to come along for the ride or you want to sit here and watch computer guy go round and round in circles with the wrapper? Yeah, I thought as much. It's been all change around here over the last month. A lot of work's been going on, as you can tell. Our hand will kind of force with that landslide. But you know what? I think it was a blessing in disguise. It meant we made the changes we always needed to do to get more animals up here. I'm hoping by the end of the summer I have myself some horses. Well there they are. Happy little fellas. How y'all doing? Let me step inside and speak to Steve. Hitch up the Mac, and get these guys back up to the homestead. Right, I got the keys. Let's jump in and get going. So here they are, we've got our 15 stein shafts that were in the smaller of our two paddocks before the rocks fell. Let's get them straight in. Oh, it's good to have them back. And we are done. Everything is back to full operation. Well, they all look pretty happy. 
YouTube guy will be happy with that. Right, I'll go take the truck back. I'll see y'all back here shortly. Well, it's just started snowing. Looking at the clock, 10.25. I better get this done as quickly as possible. Well, it's really coming down now. It won't be long till it starts to settle. And this bale's rolling around all over the place. Dear, oh dear. Okay, this is the last one. I'll go and get the uh, trailer and then get these all lifted on. Yes. It's getting cold. It's definitely getting cold. Just sticking on the, uh, the lift here just makes life much easier when it comes to picking up all of the uh, the bales out there right let's go collect the trailer I think very soon I'm gonna ask Dusty to put the big fat tires back on this because these skinnies especially when it's been snowing are slippery and I have to wait till he's back I can't imagine it'll be that long engine back I think about there brilliant edging forward let's pick this one up there we go we're strapped on it's a great piece of equipment this it's so versatile right where's the trailer there we go all right, let's grab another one. Steady as she goes. Beautiful. Right, I have this loaded in no time at all. I'll give you a shout once we're ready to head everything back to the silo and get it all stacked up. Well, that is me done. I've got, I think, about 16 on the back. I didn't actually count in the end. But we are definitely struggling up and down this hill with the snow on the ground and with these skinny tyres, so that is definitely going to be a job to do very shortly. Come on Landini, come on tyres. I made it up the hill, only just. Very difficult. The snow is not settling just yet. I'm going to have to swing around quite a bit here because of the trailer. Running out of space, actually. Can't wait to get the new barn set up. It's going to be a, a month or so, I reckon, but it's going to be worth it. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is a decent pile. Now, I can't remember how many we had the last time we did this, a year ago. I think we had two trailers worth. I think we've got four here. So anyone who's got a good memory might be able to work out quite how much we're expected to get when we come to sell this next month. Now, I think we made a quarter of a million last time. Is that my memory serving me correctly? If so, we've got half a million dollar bucks of silage sat right here. Just stepping into the barn out of the wind. Let's get my torch on. There we go. Right, what have we got here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, I think. 16 bales of straw. Right, I've just unhitched the trailer, but actually I'm going to go get that back on and we can go and get this sold. First things first though, Dusty's got this up on the ramp. We're going to swap the tyres out, put the fat ones on. It's what we need over winter. Stops us slipping around all over the place. That'll do you, computer guy. Shouldn't be slipping around now. Cheers, Dusty. Thank you very much. Right, I'll go and get the trailer hitched up and get those straw bales sold. Right on. Well, I've done it. It's taken quite a while, I must admit. It's about, I don't know, about half one in the afternoon now. Uh, yeah, that took a while, but we're loaded on. Let me just have a look where we need to go with all this stuff. Right, I am off down to the animal dealer, which makes sense because obviously the animals will need straw. So I will see you all down there very shortly to see how much we can bring in with our 16 bales of straw. Well, I'm here, but due to some very strange and unforeseen circumstances, I don't have a trailer anymore. So I'm going to have to break that news to Dusty. Annoyingly, we lost the straw, 
but I suppose more annoyingly we've lost the trailer. I won't go into details now, but yeah, a series of rather strange and unfortunate events took place between leaving the homestead and arriving here at the animal dealer. Say no more. I'm back at the homestead. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to now get the uh, the class trailer. What time is it? It's three o'clock. I'm going to get the class trailer. I'm going to load up with lime and I'm going to go and take that and sell the lime. Hopefully we might make a little bit of income this month. Yes, very strange what happened to the trailer. Never mind. Just backing up here to the crusher. I'm going to have to put the lights on. It's really quite dark. Let's go back a bit further. Okay, let's start loading this in. So we've got 99,000 litres there. Let's get that in. Beautiful. Doesn't take long at all. Okay, so now I've filled up the uh, the trailer. The reason I've done that is because I want to save some back for our own fields. And now I can go over to the actual crusher and we can set that to sell. So we go over here and change the mode to selling. Now this should slowly start to creep down and we should find we start to make some money. And Dusty and I are just having a little pop round all of our different production chains just to see the state of everything. We've got three pallets there of clothes and we've got another four there. So we've got seven. That's not too bad at all. Just making sure there's nothing at the spinnery here. There definitely shouldn't be because this should be distributing straight to the uh, tailors, to Dusty's threads, which it is. So that's all good. I don't have to worry about that one. But there is a lot of planks coming out of the sawmill. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve pallets there. Have we got any stored around the side? I don't think we have. So yeah, we've got a bit of a moving to do here. This lot really does kind of need to go over to the carpenters. But at the same time, that place was absolutely chock-a-block with planks. And here we are at the carpentry. Let's go and have a quick look what we've got around the side. I expect there to be at least a couple. Yep, so we've got three pallets here of flat pack furniture. And I think we've got some already stored around the back. Three, so we've got seven here as well. Let's put my torch on again. So yeah, we've got a lot to sell. And this has got at least another three or four months, if I remember, May I think it was. So when it comes to selling furniture, May is the time. We're going to have a nice raft of furniture by then. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, that is a very short episode. But we didn't have an awful lot to do at the homestead. All the fields are being kept after. We've got all of our production chains doing what they need to do. We attempted to sell some straw, but that didn't really work. So we are basically just waiting on next month. January is big money month. Will we make a million? I sadly don't think we will. I think we'll make easily half a million, but half a million is almost there. We'll have to see what we make with our production chains throughout the year. But for now, as it's such a quiet time, I do like a nice walk in the snow. Just thought I'd come into the, uh, the center of Erlengrat here, just have a little walk around the church, do a bit of shopping. So until next time, Take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.